They were so young and so happy. Come on, Nana. Come on, Nana. Abula, abula. <laughs> Their family simply can't understand why anyone would want to hurt them. One-year-old Neymar and her three-year-old sister Fatima died soon after the fire. Their mother, who'd been on life support, has also now passed away. It means this is now a triple murder investigation. Behind the blackened windows of their first floor flat in Nottingham, police work goes on. Neighbours who knew the family are at a loss. We'd always say hello and things like that. The kids always said hello, but not me. To me, they didn't have a hurtful bone in the body, so I don't know who would want to do this to them, you know what I mean? Yeah. They were dead sad about it, obviously, you know what I mean? But they were a lovely family. The family were most likely fast asleep as their flat filled with smoke in the early hours of Sunday morning. Investigations so far have led police to conclude that it was started deliberately. Detective Chief Inspector Mark Sinski, who's leading the investigation, said we're dealing with one of the most horrendous crimes, the death of two young children and their mother. This is a deeply upsetting tragedy, and I can only imagine the family's pain. They include the woman's husband and the father of the two children, who was not in the UK at the time of the fire. This has been an extremely traumatic event for them, and I'd like to reassure them we're doing everything we possibly can to bring them the justice they deserve. Among those leaving flowers was three-year-old China. She was in Fatima's class at nursery. Too young to understand what happened, she drew a picture for her friend. The police say they're keeping an open mind about the motive for these murders and have a large team following several lines of inquiry. Officers have been given more time to question the 31-year-old local man they have in custody. The question is why this young family were targeted. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Nottingham.